Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you could be here today. I'm Sarah, I'm a Dollar Tree haul. Most of the items in my haul are from the craft section, the home decor section, and the um, office and school supply section. We're kind of going right into that with a uh, school getting started here. Um, my girls, I have three girls, and they are going back to school in just a couple of weeks on, um, I think it's the second is when they go back to school. We are not doing in-person at this point, so they will be um, studying at home. And um, so, yeah, we're gonna have to figure out a few things uh, to um, accommodate that, but we are going to make it work the best we can and get through this little hiccup um in the school year so anyhow um so yeah i'll start off with a couple of the things that i found um, in the school supply section at my dollar tree that i uh really <laughs> that i thought were great so the first thing i picked up were these pens these are the optimus pens by ink and they are uh, quick drying, bright, vibrant colors, no bleed ink with a fine point. So I picked up the pink and purple, uh, the red and orange, and also uh, the green and blue. Next, I got some pencil grips. So my girls are obsessed with pencil grips. Leave a comment down below if your kids are obsessed with pencil grips too. I don't know what it is about pencil grips, but they will put two or three on each pencil and it is insane. So yeah, they're just the regular pencil grips. We had like these jelly ones from Walmart and they fell, not fell apart, but they were um, too big for the pencil so that they kept sliding off the pencil. So it was kind of a big waste there, but um, we did find that they worked on some ink pens better than the pencils. So uh, next thing I picked up was this compass. This is just a regular compass and protractor. Um, I am actually gonna keep this in my craft room, although my girls could use it if they need to for school, but um, I'm gonna keep it in my craft room to draw circles because I am not super good at drawing a really good circle and sometimes I need a nice circle so that'll be perfect and I can make it any size really I want I think um I don't know how big of a circle this one makes but it'll make a bigger circle then um we picked up just some high polymer erasers these are there's one non-abrasive block eraser and six cap erasers so I always like the white erasers, but I don't know if they're any better than pearl erasers or not, but I thought we'd give them a try. So yeah, there's those. The next thing I picked up were these paper clips by Jot. There's 80 in there and they are the bigger ones, um, but I loved the colors that they came in. They are, I don't know if you can see, there we go. They are pink green, blue, and purple. So the next thing we picked up were these index cards. They're bound together at the top and they're 60 in a pack. We picked up orange and pink, and I believe they came in green and blue. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was, was green and blue, pink and orange. So these are pretty cool. They have a folder or a cover on them. It's not super flimsy, so I think it'll hold up for a while um, and then it has like this plastic tuck spot i don't know since it's only connected on three sides that might come off pretty easily but um, even if it does it's not a big deal then it also has these tab um, dividers and so you can stick them anywhere you want in your book and you just push down the thing, the little top part, and then your tab is where you want it. So there's three of those tabs, and then each page is perforated right at the top here. So they can rip them out if they want. Um, 
I thought those were a really cool find. I don't know. Um, I figured they'd be good for taking notes or maybe um, for a flashcard, study guide, you know, things like that. So I thought, why not? Those look pretty cool. I picked up one of these little um, organizer bins. These were in with the school supplies. I picked up blue. Um, this is going to go on my six-year-old daughter's desk. She has um, blues on her desk and her favorite color is blue. So we picked up the blue one and I figured for her we'll put um, crayons and uh, her scissors and glue stick and some pencils in here so that she can stay more organized for school since we will be at home learning. Next, I found these planner organizers. They're for the 2020 slash 2021 school year, or I'm guessing school year. It starts in August. Um, so I figured I'd get these for my two older girls. They can write their assignments down and when they're due, so uh, hopefully we'll help them keep track of what they need to do um, to stay organized. There's two different styles that I picked up. There was um, this one with like the multicolor directional arrows. I don't know what those are, but. And then there was also this pattern. Kind of reminds me of the 80s or whatever. Each one of these, um, they're connected with a couple of staples at the top. And then they're also perforated along this edge. So you can just rip off the calendar and it'll look nice and neat. Um, these go from August 2020 to July 2021. So they are for the school year and um, they can fit in a binder. They're hole punched for a binder. Um, I figured my girls would just put them on their desk while they are um, at home. So, and then if we get to go back to school, they can put them in their binders and they'll be good to go. So I found um, one of these little books. It just opens up, it's like a tri-fold book. And on the inside are different sticky notes. There's different sizes of sticky notes and they've got some florals on them. I just love these. I thought they were so cute. And I love sticky notes. So um, again, there's a little um, Velcro enclosure on that. And it's just like a wallet sized, super cute. I just loved that. Figured I could write some little notes and put them on my girls' in my girls' lunches or, you know, little notes on the bathroom or whatever. So sticky notes are always good. The thing I found were these Project Life cards. I hadn't seen these in my Dollar Tree before, so I was pretty excited to find them. I only found two styles. Um, I found the travel and the school, and each kit contains four four by six title cards, four four by six journaling cards, and 32 three by four journaling cards. And it says they are in 16 different designs printed twice. So I probably, I never did Project Life, but I picked these up because I figured I could make them into cards or um, I'm entertaining the idea of a junk journal. And so I thought maybe those could come in handy for something like that. They could be reused for different things. So super cute. I like this travel one. There's one with a little car on it. So cute and a beach theme. Like, I really like the travel one. And the last thing I picked up from the office section are these file folders. Now, I probably will not use these file folders in this size. I'll probably cut them down and make them smaller file folders, but I just love this design. I thought it was so Oh, cute. I just love that floral and it's bright and fun and happy. So yeah, probably organize paper scraps with these. So 
So moving on, I stopped at my craft section for a few things that I needed. Um, and I found some new things as well. So um, first of all, I picked up more of this decorative nautical rope. This is the stuff that's more of um, like cotton feeling and it's lighter in color than the jute. And um, my Dollar Tree has been out of this for a really long time. So I just picked up a couple of these to have in my craft stash so that if they're out again in the future, I've got them on hand and can use them for things that I want to use them for. So next thing I found at my Dollar Tree were these washi tapes. I picked up this one with the shark on it. I love that. It's like a camo background with the sharks. And then I found this one with the little cats. There's like three different cats and a couple of butterflies. And then it is like printed on, like the background is um, words. I don't know that I can see what those words say, but there it is printed on like a newspaper kind of print. And then I found this one with the lemons on it, the pink background. So I thought those were really cute. Wanted to pick them up for just to have. Um, I picked up a spool of this green sheer ribbon. Um, I plan to add more greens and blues into my fall decor. So I picked that up. Super cute. Um, oh yeah. So I sometimes um, want to just have paint brushes that I can get grungy can make a big mess with and if I have to throw them away because they are not able to be reused again I don't feel bad about throwing away one of these brushes um, a lot of my own paint brushes that I have in my craft room are more expensive paint brushes and so I don't want to ruin those but here's this one it's got like a one inch um, one inch brush with a little fine detail brush and then this one is a seven pack and these are from crafter square so I figured I could Get them all mucky and no, no worries on that. Not a big deal. Next, I found these super cute stickers. Dollar Tree has amazing stickers. So if you've never dropped into Dollar Tree to look at their stickers, you should definitely do that because they have great stickers. They've got dimensional stickers and just all kinds of stickers. So I found these guys, I thought they were really cute and would make some cute cards for some younger um, kids, like for birthdays and stuff. So they are on some foam tape and um, just super cute. Next, I picked up quite a few of these palette boards. These are just four slats held together and um, I'm going to be using these for a project that I'll probably share here on my channel so make sure you subscribe um, and hit that bell for to get your notifications so that when I do share this project you'll be able to see what it is um, but yeah so I'm excited about that it is a project that I've done in the past and I'm revamping it so um, I know some of my Friends and family will have seen similar items, but um, it is going to be all new and different. Next, I picked up these blocks. They're just decorative, plain wood blocks that you can do whatever you want with them. You can Mod Podge on them, you can paint them, you can whatever, draw on them. So they're just really versatile and they're nice and thick. So I picked up two of those. Um, that's all my Dollar Tree had. So I'll be actually picking up more of those in the future um, because I will need more in order to do the project that I need for that. So next I picked up this wall decor piece. It's like a, a, a perpetual calendar really. Um, you just change the month and then change the days. But I am not going to use that not going to use this for that purpose. I'm going to revamp uh, this into something completely different. Um, and maybe I will show that to you as well later on. And then the last thing I picked up is they're not 
They're not craft items, but beauty items. But I'm going to be using them in my craft room. So I picked up a number of these foundation brushes. And then I picked up um, one contour brush, just smaller. And then I picked up the eyeshadow brush, which is kind of skinny. So I opened one up to see what it was like. And this is, this is it. It's just really dense brush and super soft. So I'm going to be using these for ink blending. I picked up one for each color family. So um, I did try this on a card that I made the other day. Um, doing some ink blending and it worked really good. So um, I've seen people buying one similar to this from Amazon and also I um, can't remember the name of the company, but there's a, a company that sells them um, specifically for scrapbooking and um, I figured that I'd give those a try and see how they work and so far so good. I'll keep you posted on how they hold up over time, but um, for a dollar, I'm not too worried about it if I have to pick up another set in a few months. That's okay, because I think that the ones that they sell for actual um, crafting are really expensive. So I think I'm saving myself a lot, even if I have to buy a couple of sets of them. The next section that I went to is the um, fall, well, the core section. So I picked up a bunch of fall stuff because um, you know we're getting to that time of year almost through summertime and now it's time to start thinking about fall so I picked up these cream colored um, decorative picks there's four in the package and there is some like black paint splatters on them they're super cute but I wanted to add more neutral colors to my fall decor so I decided to go with that cream color Next, I picked up some of this ribbon. This is just kind of a gold ribbon with um, these foiled, orange foiled maple leaves on them. They're really pretty. Um, so I saw somebody cover an LED candle with those and that's what I'm going to do with this is I'm gonna cover an LED candle and use it in um, my fall decor. Let's grab everything up here. Um, so I grabbed some of the metal words that say thankful, harvest, and welcome. These are just galvanized letters, or not letters, galvanized words. Um, they have had these around for quite a while, a couple years, I think. And last year, I didn't see them at my Dollar Tree. So I picked up a set of them. Um, I picked up a set couple years ago but I used them so I kind of wanted to have um, these in my stash to use and then I saw um, Dollar Tree had more sunflowers out this year so I picked up two packages of these little sunflowers they're just on little wire um, ties next I picked up some of these crafter square color your own ornaments I got the maple leaf and also the pumpkins that I plan to use in a um, harvest DIY that I'm going to do and I also picked up pumpkins now I picked up quite a few pumpkins and I think everything that's left are pumpkins so I picked up these burlap pumpkins these have been around for a couple years now but I just love the orange that they look so cute. So I picked up two orange and a regular burlap color. So there's those. Then I picked up one of these brick red pumpkins. Super pretty. It almost has like a gold sheen to it. It's really nice. And then I picked up this one. I don't know if you can see that or not but it has like a gold crackle effect. I just love these. I have a few of these already from years past and so I saw that and decided to pick up another one. And then I picked up one of 
these pumpkins. And I picked up some velvet ones. I picked up orange, white, and the brown color. These are actually really cute. Okay, next I picked up one of these candle holders. I don't know that they're necessarily supposed to be pumpkin, but I thought it looked like a little pumpkin. So I thought I'd put some uh, twine around the top and add a tea light in it and put it in with my fall decor. It's just this really beautiful orange color. I think they call that a mercury effect. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I think that's what it is, kind of the mercury. Then I picked up one of these ceramic pumpkins in the off-white color. Again, just trying to get some more neutral colors going in my fall. And last but not least, for the pumpkins, I picked up one of these. I think everybody has been looking for these. I've seen them hauled all over the place. Um, my dollar store had uh, ones that had S and C on them, and so I picked up the C because that happens to be our last, the initial of our last name. So I picked that up, and um, I did have to go into my dollar store the very next day, and they were all gone. There is none to be had. So if you find these and you want it, get it because they are going to be going fast. Okay, the last bit of um, fall decor that I have are um, florals. I love florals. And the Dollar Tree has really, really stepped up their game lately. It is insane how every year their florals are getting better and better. So I picked up one of these. I know I had one from last year and I remember thinking that I needed another one. So I picked up another one. So the sunflower with the uh, pine cone and the berries on it. And then this is one I haven't seen at my Dollar Tree before. So I think that these are new this year. Um, I don't remember seeing them in last year at all. So they are these very neutral picks with the cream pumpkin, the blue and green berries, and then the pine cone. But look at those leaves. They're like a dusty green blue color and they are just beautiful. I just adore these picks. I'm probably gonna be mad that I only grabbed two um, because I have a feeling those are gonna go really quickly too. So if you want those and you find them at your dollar store, I would get them pronto because I don't think they're gonna last. The next thing I found were these green berries. But they're just green berries in, um, the, the color of the berries kind of vary from berry to berry. So that's kind of cool. So I'll just use those um, again. Like I said, I wanna add more green and blue um, and neutral like cream colors into my decor. So um, yeah, happy to have that. And then I found these. I have not seen these before. These might be old, but I just love them. They're like little bouncy pumpkins. <laughs> but I love the color of the pumpkins. They're not like, they're like a rust orange color. And the leaves on these are just fabulous. Like they're a nice color. They've got a little bit of like orange on the very tips. It's very natural looking. They don't look, you know, sometimes Dollar Tree's florals don't look super awesome, but these are really awesome. So plan to use those. And then finally, I found the large, whoop, large, um, cotton stems. My Dollar Tree just has not had these in the past. Um, so I was actually really surprised to find them there because they have not carried them before. They carried the small ones last year. Um, and of course those went really quick. So I think I was able to pick up one of those last year. 
um, but this year they had the, the bigger stems. So I picked up only one. I don't do a whole lot of farmhouse decor, but I do like this um, with my fall decor. So a little bit of um, farmhouse is just perfect. So I just grabbed one. So, well, that concludes our haul today. Thank you for joining me. I'm so glad that you were able to come and spend some time with me. I hope that you enjoyed this haul and that you found it uh, amusing, maybe. Um, I will be back with more DIYs, more card tutorials, and maybe a haul here and there. Um, I, I won't be doing like weekly hauls or anything like that, but I do plan to do a few hauls, um, especially with Dollar Tree. I, I tend to spend my money there very often. And so I will share with you what I pick up in my Dollar Tree. So if you get a chance, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the flip side. Bye.